Good morning, Living Waters. Welcome back to what will be our last week of coffee videos, at least for a little while. I uh, have really enjoyed these 75 weeks. Never would have thought of been that many when we started back in was it March of 2020. Um, but with things opening back up and things picking up for the, the new year, um, when I'm back from vacation, it's going to be... Uh, hitting the ground running and we have lots of things we want to grow and so the coffee together is going to go on pause but don't worry if you do want to have coffee together you can have 75 weeks of videos to go through um so there's still plenty i know if i watched one that happened a year ago i wouldn't remember it anymore anyway and that is 375 videos i did the math so but the, for this week it'll be our grand finale for at least for a little while. Maybe I'm thinking, I think we can have coffee together maybe on other occasions or as things change, hopefully not for the worst. Um, but yes, so this week we're going to wrap up the re-entering into our lives sermon series um, with this idea of mission. We heard on Sunday God's mission statement um, from the passage in Luke. Jesus picking the scroll from uh, Isaiah, right? So... We're looking at five passages that, that cover this idea of God's mission and how living out that mission will make us happier, will help us process everything we've been through, will be fostered and grow our community, and will enrich our rest of our lives, no matter how long that is. So we first turn to 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 23 through 34. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but if you'd like to pause me, you can. Um, 1 Chronicles 16, 23-34. This is the part of the Chronicles, are, again, are part of the history books with the Kings and Samuel. Um, and this is the time where the Ark is, is being dedicated. And uh, this is David's um, song of, of thanksgiving. And I want you to hear, listen for uh, the mission that's being talked about here. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell of God's salvation from day to day. Declare his victory among the nations, his marvelous works from all the peoples. For great is the God, or is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. God is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods and peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor your majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his place. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering. Come before him. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him, all the earth. We'll stop there. Do you hear the mission that's being talked about here? In this moment of celebration, yes, they're giving thanks to God. Uh, the ark has been placed in, in the, the tent, or the worship space, this time. Um, and here, God is um, talked about in certain ways, right? Uh, talks about tell of God's salvation. Right? That's part of our mission, sharing the grace of Christ. Christ is the Savior, right? Um, this is true in this time as well, of, of talking about God's salvation and the salvation to come, the promises, because obviously Jesus hasn't happened yet in this time, time in history. Uh, it talks about how God is revered above all other gods. Marvelous are God's works, right? We, te we testify to what we know, as Jesus says. Um, we talk about all the ways that God has blessed our lives. That's part of our mission as well, to share the good news, right? Um, and then I love that verse 20, ascribe, O people, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord the glory and strength, like this idea of families coming together, uh, that God is brought together for goodness, for glory and strength. That's just, that's a beautiful image. And so, yes, that's part of our mission too, all these things. Our families coming together and proclaiming this good news, our community coming together and proclaiming a God of salvation, of power, of mercy, of gratitude and generosity. All right. We'll continue this theme of the mission of God and how it enriches our lives tomorrow.